Welcome everybody, my name is Mr. Llama and today I am bringing you Fnatic Oz vs. Grubby. This is from IEM Cologne and it is in the lower bracket round of three of the open bracket. So some really great players right there meeting up in the lower bracket. Uh, very surprising. But there was a lot of strong competition and it is PvP on Daybreak. And I love some PvP. Most people do not like it and they're like, ah, oh, Forgate and Colossus and... Yeah, but I don't know. I think I think it's so cool simply because it is so close all of the time, I feel like. It really, really, really comes down to just the minor details, and so it's really great to watch some pro players go at it. Go at it, excuse me. So, neither player going for any crazy fast cheese, any cannon rushes or proxy two gates or anything like that. Looks like they're both going to be playing it pretty standard, at least for the first minute and a half here that we are watching. And I am so happy to be back into casting. I know I've been doing a lot with my Winning with Ease series. Um, and that has just been a video every day and having to go ahead and find somebody to play against me for the day and stuff to, to get the replay out then. Um, and even just defending it. Sometimes I'll, have, I'll be like, hey, can you do a Blink Stalker all in with an Observer TVP versus me? And I'll get killed like eight times with it, and I'm like, oh, this is awful. So it takes me a little bit sometimes to figure out the best way to defend it, or the easiest way, because I'm not trying to use a thousand, you know, accents per minute. I'm trying to still make it simple, still make it based on just good decisions, good flanks, and it doesn't always work out the best. But that being said, um, yeah, so I want to go ahead and start casting some more games. So here we are. I was able to finally find the IEM. Uh, Cologne replay packs kind of came out and stuff, which is, thank goodness they released it, because MLG said they're going to stop releasing replays, and then drop.sc is down right now, or out until they get more uh, donations and stuff, so it's kind of been tough to find these replays. So it looks like both players opening up fairly standard. We do see the Zealot coming out here from Oz, but Grubby has yet to elect to grab a Zealot. Oh, there we go. There he, he just grabbed it a little bit later. And both players grabbing double gas here as well. So it looks like very similar builds from both of them. And a little bit, uh, or a lot of Chrono Boost saved up here on the... There it is. So Chrono Boost from Oz on this warp gate, and I'll be interested to see uh, how exactly he's going to use that for pressure, what he's going to do, if we're going to see maybe a couple more gates thrown down, um, or I, I don't know, because he does have the double gas here. So only one guy on the second gas, though, which is interesting because it's actually more efficient to mine. Okay, so now he's moving them over. Maybe that's just a, a little bit of a later thing. But I was going to say, it's actually more efficient to mine out of both of these geysers, two and two, than three and one. Since with two uh, probes mining, you'll actually get about 80% efficiency uh, from a geyser. So just something to note. And one of the first differences, we see a sentry and robotics facility out of Grubby. While Oz has still yet to really make any impact here and it looks like he's going to be going for possibly some DTs or some blink not quite sure at the moment right now he's just throwing down that twilight council and continuing to pump out the stalkers right there so chrono boost going down now on the probes and this is an interesting build order here from Oz um, usually you'd imagine him to be chrono boosting out the uh, probes a little bit earlier, but instead he decides to chrono boost early on the warp gate and then chrono boost the probes a little bit later. So I don't know about that. Um, I feel like it could be this build could be a little bit more optimized. And in the meantime, Grubby is just sitting back here. Two gate Robo going to be uh, getting ready to defend his ramp, and there we go, throwing down the Nexus as well. So that is so crazy. I don't know why he used a Chrono Boost on that Warp Gate. Probably just for defensive purposes, I'd imagine. He got into his opponent's base. Um, I don't know if he saw the, the other gas. Yeah, he did see both the gas. Uh, but it was probably just a defensive measure to go ahead and throw that down. And it will be Blink Stalker, but off of a One Gate Expand right here. So Oz looking to be... Um, he sees, he sees the nexus of his opponent. So playing it a little bit greedily, but I really actually like this now the more that I think about it. Simply because while his opponent Grubby invested all of this time and money uh, into getting out this robo, getting out a second gate, and then taking his expansion. Uh-oh. 
Looks like Oz t overstepped his welcome right there and lost a couple stalkers for free. So that's not good. But, um, yeah, so while we did see Grubby invest into all of this, Oz went ahead and just used that tech really quickly to just blink and then uh, get out his nexus quickly as well. And also pumped out a lot more probes in the process. So he is playing extremely greedy at this point, and it's possible Grubby may be pushing over a tiny bit with this force. Does he know his opponent has this expansion? Yes, he does. He has the Observer right there in front. So he may be pushing to go ahead and do a little damage. No, it looks like he might be backing off and getting a free probe kill as well right there. I don't know, so he's going to pick off this pylon, but he is moving out with a second Immortal there. And yes, there should be a little attack force here pushing to the front. And will Oz have anything to defend it? He does have four gates out now, and they will be playing Stalkers, but that's not going to be too much against Grubby's two Immortals right here. So it looks like Oz may have overextended himself a little bit too much here. And I am very curious to see what's going to happen. He's going to be able to force field out uh, these units for a little bit, but these rocks will go down, and that'll be the end of those force fields right there. He's going to try and warp in more sentries, actually, it looks like, to try and get a continuous force field on this ramp as soon as these rocks do go down, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Grubby can completely see what's going on. He also has a warp prison there to warp in extra units. This is going to be extremely difficult here for Oz to defend the warp prison can of course head over to the main to just be annoying as well and make it a little dual flank blink research has completed here but is he still stuck on just those four gates yes he is so it's simply going to be four gates with that robo now pumping out and I still like Grubby's chances with these Immortals, but it looks like Grubby, the longer he waits, the worse position he's going to be in. He does not want to get blocked off on that ramp and cut in half. That would just be killer for him, and so it looks like he's going to be waiting for a couple more units. Where did his Warp Prism go? Is it in the main? Yes, it is. Okay, so he's dropped some Zealots in the main. How many workers has he killed? Five workers killed right there. And now he's going to be charging up the front as well. It looks like Oz has backed himself up. These probes have been pulled out, but they're not going to be in any position to fight the Blink Stalkers did go up into the main there to kill off those Stalkers, and it looks like Grubby is in a great position right here. We do see that Oz is trying to drop as many Force Fields, it looks like, as possible. Or are those Grubby Force Fields, possibly Grubby Force Fields here, as that Robotics Facility did go down. And Oz may actually hold this, surprisingly. He's going to Blink Forward, try and pick off one of those Immortals. Not going to happen there, as uh, he does turn around, but he might be losing a Sentry, possibly. He needs to be careful not to lose those Immortals. Another Blink Forward could be huge, and it looks like now we're going to see Oz engaging right here. As he's going to be able to start picking off a few more units Grubby on their retreat until he can at least retreat back to all of his uh, stalkers that now have blink as well he did grab that tech and so Oz is going to be pushing up here and continuing to try but now he's going to have to be careful and possibly back off some force fields do go down but I don't know if he realizes that Grubby has blink or if he even saw him blink back before but he's going to easily be able to blink out of this some nice blink stalker mic right there from Grubby and Oz is possibly overextending himself right here he needs to be very careful he's pushing in with more sentries and zealots not going to be very helpful against this blink stalker army composition and Grubby is absolutely mutilating that army and that's it for Oz he's simply going to GG at that point. I know he was behind a tiny bit in workers, but wow, what a crazy end right there. So Oz completely pushed himself into a death trap of Grubby Micro, and that was simply going to be it for him. So GG, that's game one. This is the best of three in this IEM clone uh, lower bracket round of three, and we'll go ahead and get right on into game two.